right back, my friend. Yeah, I just plugged this old Cobra 2000 in and gave it a little bit of exercise. Blue Gill back out just to listening.
triple zero, triple zero, uh, seven threes to you and all your family, and uh, God bless, and uh, have a pretty dog gone good weekend. Seven two eight, seven two eight, Smoky Hills of Tennessee, get on down, I'm back out.
not listening.
recorder is going to keep running. I'll deal with it when I get home tonight. Wave at everybody. We're back out. Hey, Smokey. My wife is in North Carolina, man. And I put a pretty good little CB set up in there uh, when she took off from North Carolina for a week. She go visit her parents, and I was talking to her, and she was in North Carolina, and I was on the base right here, and uh, I'll be doggone, man. I started getting that stupid recording when I got conditions around Delaware, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. So somebody in the Northeast got that, uh, got that recording. They have plugged my ears. Three, seven, four. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the Craftsman loop that's coming from Michigan. <laughs>
barbed wire every day. Every day. Took it out, took it apart, and 
I mean, I only used it one year, but uh, evidently it got wet inside and it's shot, so I had to order another one. Dang it, man. Yeah, I, I hate working on them CDs, man. It takes a lot of patience, man. <laughs> and then if you drop a wrench or a bolt or something down and... Been there, done that. You don't have to tell me. That's why you get an extension magnet. Yeah, I gotta get me one of them. Magnetic screwdrivers, but yeah, uh, I used to pick the damn CD up, man, but that thing's getting pretty heavy, you know. Uh, but uh, sometimes I'll get the water hose and just blast it to the back. Yeah, I hear you. Where in the heck are you going to go with a CD? Where they let you in with it? Uh, we got a, um, a river membership at Emerald Cove on the California side of uh, the Parker Strip there. And um, but my friends, uh, my, they're a little bit older than me. They're, they're uh, semi-retired right now, but they're going to retire in Lake Havasu. They just bought a house and uh, they just got the keys today. As a matter of fact, he wanted me to go out there and clean the carpet for him, but. I don't want to go out there today and then have to come back tomorrow, so I'm going to go out there probably in a couple of weeks. And um, But I've seen, I seen pictures of the inside and the outside online when it was for sale. I've seen the whole house, and um, we got a nice view of the lake from their patio. Bedroom, two bathroom, they got it for 130000 That's pretty good. Yeah, that's darn good. But yeah, I wish I had a boat, man. I want another boat, man. They're easier to work on. Yeah, I've been through that, done that, and I ain't doing it no more. Hey, uh, man, man, what about old Rose, though, man? Are you still getting you, man? Hey, uh, you know what? I've got any kind of mother nature out here around Rose, though, kind of trying to get it back your way. Hey, man, man, I ain't doing it with old Rose, though, waving out of ten, come on. It was a brand new, uh, like 17 and a half foot, uh, Bayliner. And uh, I think I got it for around 10 or 11 or something like that. I think with tax and everything, it was about 13000 But uh, it was a nice, dependable bump. Hey, man, 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 but then again, I had a friend of mine, lady I worked for, her two sons. That's what they done was high speed uh, skiing on the Colorado River when I was young. Jimmy and Ernie Earl, they were. Uh, There's some weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double D's around Alabama. Double D's around and I have fun. I don't, I, you know, I, I can't really ski and, um, so I have fun just getting mad. Out there now, 